In today's video, we're gonna use the free version of Formidable Forms to create a simple survey form. First step, of course, is to install the plugin. So we're gonna to navigate to plugins, add new. Now just search for Formidable Forms, press install now and activate. Now it's time to create our form. We're gonna to go to Formidable on the side here and select Forms Light. And we're gonna press this blue button that says add new form. We'll select a blank form and just give it a name. Then press create. From here, we could start adding in fields, which are listed off on the left-hand side. I'm simply going to start by pressing drop down. Now we can see the drop down field. I'm going to select it and I'll get options off on the left-hand side. The first thing we want to do is update the field label. Now with that done, we're going to go to drop down options and I'll start by giving it a name. As you can see, it says choose one and we can start going through and adding options. So let's change option one and to add more. We're going to press add option. I'm going to go ahead and add three more options in total, fill them out. And that's it for this dropdown. Now we can press add fields up at the top left and select our next field, which I'll do another dropdown. And again, press on the dropdown to open up all of the different options. And again, this is just like last time. If I need to add more options, I can press this button right here. And once we're done with that, we can press add fields at the top left yet again. And this time I will select a radio button, press on it. Here are our options yet again. We're gonna leave display format as simple and now let's just change our options. And yet again, go back to add fields. Let's add another dropdown, press on it, change the label, fill out our options. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and press the update button here at the top right. That's going to update our form, which is good because it's gonna save all of the changes we just made. Now, if we go ahead and press preview, we can see what our form looks like right now. We can play around with it and see that everything is working perfectly. Back in here though, it's time to do a few more steps. So let's navigate to the settings tab here at the top. We need to tell WordPress the email address where entries should be sent and we're going to do it from in here. On the left-hand side, select actions and notifications, expand send email, in here is where we're going to set the to address from subject and all of that fun stuff. And make sure over here on the right hand side that you toggle it on, because if you don't, well, this part doesn't matter. And once you've filled all that out, make sure you press update yet again at the top right of your page. Now, the final step at this point is to embed our survey. The cool thing is when you use the block editor, you can simply press this plus icon, type in formidable forms, select it, and just select your survey form that we created earlier. And that's all there is to it. If you're still using the classic editor or a theme builder or anything like that, you can select this option here and actually generate a short code that you can insert into your theme as you see fit. By default, the form will have a generic appearance. And if you want it to match the styling of your website, you're gonna need to add a bit of CSS to achieve a similar look. If you're in the theme customizer, you can select additional CSS paste in some code and bada bing bada boom, you got yourself an updated style. As you can see, our survey is working perfectly. It looks great and it's super simple to do. So that's all you need to know when it comes to creating a simple survey form in WordPress. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.